once again as a warning to others, plunging into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul. Percy, what are you talking about? The ghost train. Driver saw it last night. Where? Asked Thomas and Toby. He didn't say. Oh, it makes my wheels wobble to think of it. Oh, and also, get this. Thomas also had a run with a ghost once. Yes, and that very same ghost got himself an ugly haircut. Don't... Oh, you ruined the moment. Uh, Elsa? Is there really a ghost train out there? Ah, uh, don't be a sheep, Bambi. Ghosts don't exist. It's all just silly make-believe. I should know, because Emmy and I found that out a long time ago. Thomas didn't believe in your ghost, said Percy next morning. His driver laughed. Neither do I. It was only a pretend ghost story. Percy was disappointed. That evening, he came back from the harbor.
person knew where he was, even in the dark. Crow's Farm Crossing. We shan't be long now. He liked running at night. The rails hummed and the signal light shone green. But a broken cartload of lime lay ahead. Sam the farmer had just gone for help. Percy broke the cart to smithereens. Lime flew everywhere. He puffed quickly to the nearest signal box. Percy's driver explained what had happened. I'll see to it, said the signalman. But you better clean Percy, or people will think he's a ghost. Percy chuckled. Do let's pretend I'm a ghost and scare t Toby promised to help. Thomas was being oiled up for his evening train. Percy's had an accident, cried Toby. Poor engine, said Thomas. Botheration! That means I'll be late. They've cleared the line for you, but there's something worse. Out with it, Toby. I can't wait all evening. I've just seen something, said Toby. It, it, lo it looked like Percy's ghost. It, 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 it said it was com coming he here to w warn us. Puh, who cares? Don't be frightened, Toby. I'll take care of you. <laughs> that was... Way too close for comfort. Well, wait. Huh? What is it? Um, actually, could you, could you stay with me? At least until Twilight gets back. <laughs> sure, but Thanks, sis. Though so, but relieved to have some company, he could barely figure out or admit to anyone what he'd just stumbled upon. He wondered if it was the mist playing tricks on him. Or that it was all in his imagination. But try as he possibly might, he couldn't deny that he went face to face with a real spectre on the rails. <laughs> And I, uh, I, I didn't like to intrude. I slept in the freight shed and... Oh, sorry, can't stop. Gotta see a coach about a train. <laughs> Percy was none the worse for his adventure and was still enjoying himself enormously. He had heard everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 what do you know about that? Anyone would think, chuckled Toby, that our Thomas had just seen a ghost.
Uh, 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 uh,